I've been made aware of a few stories recently of people who tried a plant-based diet only to discover they were either sensitive, intolerant or allergic to soy. They then eventually had to stop being 100% plant-based because it made them so unwell. Now, soy is said to be one of the big eight allergens, along with cow's milk, eggs, peanuts, wheat, fish, tree nuts and shellfish. Studies in the US indicate a range of soy allergy rates, spanning from anywhere from 0.1 to 0.6% of the population. However, some health educators speculate that there may be many more people who experience a soy sensitivity, which can show up as gastrointestinal and digestive problems such as diarrhea, cramping, headaches, dizziness and nausea. We've also got the problem that soybean production has become infamous for using genetically modified organisms. GMO soybeans are suspected to have negative long-term effects on the body. Most concerning is that studies are indicating that GMO soy could result in adverse effects on the human body that are not immediately felt, but the effects can happen several years later. This thankfully can be avoided by consuming organic soy products. So what can you do? Is it a deal breaker if you can't eat edamame, tofu, tempeh, miso and soy milk products? Can you maintain a healthful whole food plant-based diet without them? Well, this was asked to Dr. Greger in a recent interview. So let's hear what he had to say. If you're allergic to soy, if you're allergic to any food, you stop eating it, period. I mean, soy has a lot of wonderful things, but so do all the legumes, right? So if soy doesn't work for you, then eat lentils, right? Or eat chickpeas. The reason we hear a lot about soy, the soy benefits, is because we have a multi-million dollar soy industry to fund these kind of studies. But when they actually went back and, well, let's look at all the other, so cholesterol is that there's actually an FDA claim. So you can actually say on something with soy in it, uh, this food product lowers your cholesterol. And there's very few foods that can that can claim that oats are another one um and so they went back and said well what are the cholesterol lowering benefits of other love pinto beans for example or of navy beans and they found that actually non-soy legumes worked even better for lowering your cholesterol right they just didn't have this big kind of marketing giant behind it to push the paperwork through so all legumes are fantastic yes soybeans are fantastic but if for whatever reason soybeans don't agree with you you can't find them then there's a whole plethora of legumes out there i encourage people to explore and find some they love it does affect hormones and but in positive ways in ways we want the reason why women who eat soy go on to have 30 to 50 percent lower risk of breast cancer is because soy has an anti-estrogenic effect in the breast but actually has a pro-estrogenic effect in the bones so it increases bone mineral density so they randomize women to drink soy milk or regular milk significantly improves bone mineral density in the soy milk group compared to the um, dairy milk group and it's because of the relative distribution of so-called alpha and beta estrogen receptors. Your own endogenous estrogen attaches to the alpha receptors, the soy phytoestrogen receptor to the beta receptors. And so whether or not soy has a pro-estrogenic or anti-estrogenic effect depends on the relative distribution of these two receptors. And so you actually get the best of both worlds. You have the pro-estrogenic effects where you want them, like reducing menopausal hot flashes or improving bone strength, but has anti-estrogenic effects where you want them, like in the breast tissue, to reduce your risk of breast cancer in the first place and then extend survival in those with breast cancer. Thousands of breast cancer survivors have been tested. Those that eat soy consistently live longer, have lower risk of cancer recurrence compared to non-soy eaters. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.